Joe, we asked uh, the question here is our why. Why is it we might get results faster this year than we did in the last presidential election? The public needed to wait almost five days in 2020, and it was a long five days uh, before most major news outlets issued the projection. That is the longest they had waited since the 2000 election, which we were just talking about earlier. What a mess that was. Mm -hmm. Hanging chads. I first got into radio, and I'll, I'll try to make the story a little briefer than what I told you during rehearsal. Uh, I was working, uh, I had just started in radio. Mm-hmm. It was 2000. I had just started radio. I'd been in radio for about 11 months. i uh, been doing a morning show for about three months. Just got really early on in my career. And they asked me to run the, the board, uh, be the tech director for election coverage at this tiny station I was at. And it's late at night. I had to be back to do the morning show the next morning anyway. And so we wrapped up. It sounded like George W. Bush is the, is the projected winner. And I go, cool. We wrap it up. Thanks a lot for listening. And I headed home for the night. Now, I was only 22 at the time. I was still living at my parents' house. Wow. Doesn't that in some ways feel like it was yesterday? Yes. Yes. Which is why when you get older, you don't realize, wow, I'm old now. Hmm. Yeah. So I go home, and I and my mother's there, and she says, how did everything go? And I said, it went really well. You know, We know who the president is. She goes, oh, no, we don't. They changed their minds. I go, you can't change your mind. She goes, no, no, they decided to uncall Florida. (laughs) I went, this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I think it was Ohio and Florida yes. at the time that were really tight. Yep. And they called Ohio. Florida had already been called. They went, okay, good. And then I got in the car and I went home. By 20 minutes later, I got home and it was like, oh, no, they uncalled Florida. Yeah. What we a need to look at time. some ballots. Yeah. Oh, what a weird thing. Do you think we might see the results faster this year than we did in 2020? I think there's a couple reasons we could. Okay. One is we could see a landslide. There was a story last week that in the seven swing states, North Carolina, Georgia, the blue wall, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Nevada, that there is a chance. Okay. There is a chance that either candidate or the other, former President Trump or Vice President Harris, could sweep them. Mm -hmm. And then you you could see a landslide, and likely the results wouldn't be contested. Um, There is also the chance, due to some changes in some of the swing states, that votes will be counted quicker. Mm Mm-hmm. And that could lead to getting a result quicker. I still hit pause on this because there is a difference between the count and the result at times and certifying things. Explain. So, what do you mean? Well, we know, once the, all of the votes have been counted, yeah, they've been added up. But then things could be litigated in the courts. There could be all kinds of challenges. Mm. One side could say that... X number of votes should be thrown out. X number of votes should be added back in. That's when the real ugliness could begin. So, yes, it could be much faster due to some changes that some of the swing states have made to count quicker and to begin counting now and in the days and weeks leading up to the election. But I am not sold that we are going to have a result any quicker. I actually think it will take longer than a week in what it took back in 2020. What do you think? So... Let's go back to 2000, Mm -hmm. and media changed the way they did things at that point because they used to call it based on exit polling Mm -hmm. before the polls were closed, right? So you might – in fact, that's what happened to Florida. Uh, Media called it before the polls had closed for the parts of the Florida panhandle that were in the central time zone. So they said, wait a minute. The media, by saying that that they had called Florida – the media may have disenfranchised some voters or, or at least removed some uh, motivation to go vote because they would have thought the election is over. My vote doesn't count now. Media right? was trying to also take their best guess, look at the data, and mm-hmm. say, based on what we see right now, this is it. there is not a mathematical way right. that then it was Bush v. Gore yeah. that Gore could come back. But they changed the way they did things because of that. So they don't call a state until after the polls have closed, even if it's a runaway and we know it. Sure. Right. The state of New York will be voting for Kamala Harris. Not a question. But they're not going to start at 9 a.m. and say, Kamala Harris takes New York. Alabama probably going to Trump. That's going to Trump. Confident that I will call that race right now. But the AP won't. They won't. Not until after the polls close. Fox News won't. Because of what happened in 2000. So now I got to ask you this question. We were we were discussing this in in uh, uh, Mike Broomhead from from the the mid morning show. show. Yeah, very good. Mm-hmm. He he suggested that uh, we all throw some money in a pot and choose when the uh, election will be called. Oh, I love wagering. Yeah, I know you do. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think we did a video on it. Uh, it's on our Instagram. Mm-hmm. Check that out. Uh, it's when Pablo learned about odds, American odds, though, a little different. 
Yeah, at the Chris and Joe show yeah. on our Instagram. So, uh, so here's my question then: Is media even going to declare a winner? Night of day next day day after whatever it might be in other words if we're doing a poll and say when's media going to call it and let's say that you say i'm gonna, i say media is going to call this race at uh 3 23 p.m on friday which would be really great for our show uh then uh, my question to you joe like is that legit or are they going to wait until some of the lawsuits play out based on what you just said that Counting the ballots and declaring a winner are two different things. So maybe media doesn't even make a call anymore. And both sides, Republicans, I almost called them the Republicrats, the Republicans and the Democrats have substantially added to their legal teams as well, yeah. which to me signifies there likely will be a There's legal be challenges. There'll be all kinds of fights, and those will play out in each state as well. Um, I, I am confident there will not be a call made. By you just said Friday at three twenty three. You don't Th think so? There'll be calls in in individual states, but in the seven swing states that we're talking about, the states that really matter, where things are up in the air, I don't think Nevada. That's one of them. They love to gamble too. Wager. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, I was told it's wagering. Wager. Wager. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, that that we will not know until at least a week later. So the 12th. so when would you take? You take the 12th? Uh, oh, wow. I'm, I'm saying at least. I, I have not given you my official wager yet. Right. I I'm going to take what I'm going to do the prices right thing, but I'm going to go the other way. You know how everybody will take a dollar? Yeah. I'm going to bid one dollar, or I'm going to bid one minute later than whoever has the latest. Right. Yeah. So you you would need to then look up what is the last possible date that it can be certified. I did look that up. I've got it in notes somewhere. It's something, so, it's like November. 20th now, are you gutsy enough to even speculate that beyond when it has to be certified? What if it's still being fought in the courts? What happens? Doesn't matter as long as as long as nobody else in our wagering pool has chosen January sixth, then oh, I'm set. So you just win then because you've got the latest exactly. possible. Exactly. Look at uh -huh. you, sneaky. That's how I roll. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe, and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.